This is Kieran during the 2017 bull run. Wow, I've been making so much money. Wow, crypto, crypto is fantastic. Like it's it's only going up. I'm discussing with friends like, uh, yeah, price prediction uh, is going up, 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 up. Numbers are just going up, never down. I mean, like predictions to the moon, to Mars. It's never going down ever again. The reality of 2018 was like, yeah, I think this is just a little dip. Just, okay, that's a little more than I expected. Ooh, my portfolio, ooh, I cannot look at that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's, I'm never investing in crypto. I think I have to apply to McDonald's somewhere. <laughs> All right, I don't want the same thing to happen to you. I want to make sure that you get the most profit out of this bull run as possible. So you don't end up in the same situation as me back in 2017, 2018. Now I made massive amounts of money in 2017 bull run. I did take some profits, but that was mostly because I had to and I bought a few things, but I didn't take enough. And then the 2018 bear market happened, the crypto winter with different assets dropping 70%, 80%, 90% and even more. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can actually take some profits out of this bull run, make the most of it, have a lot of liquidity available after the bull run so that you can buy the dip when the bottom happens for many different cryptocurrencies. So this is the crypto exit strategy. My name is Kieran and I create a cryptocurrency videos, fundamentals, tutorials, so that you can stay up to date and also proving that a decentralized lifestyle with cryptocurrency, but also without is possible. So I've already made one crypto exit strategy and this is a recap with a few additions. Now we're in full furor of the bull run. If you're already someone that has acquired some cryptocurrency assets in the last two, three years, then this is definitely something for you. But also if you're a new viewer, a new investor that has just recently acquired some cryptocurrency, this is definitely something that you have to pay attention to. So I highly recommend that you watch to the end of the video as well as the videos that will be coming afterwards as this is just part one of the crypto exit strategy as I'll be making a lot more videos on this topic. So, before I start with the strategy, what normally happens in a bull run in the cryptocurrency space, but I mean, like the, the stock market is probably the same thing. So the, you, you've got the prices that are going up. You've got the dips that happen. You've got the 30% dips, 40% dips, which are totally normal. And everyone's like shouting, hodl, 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 hodl. And that is great. That is great for when the prices are going up, but terrible when that point happens that point in time where the peak has been reached and the next dip is not just a dip but a crash and the beginning of a bear market so when everything is going up you're buying and so on you're happy you have the impression that everything is going to continue to go up and then afterwards when it starts going down you're unhappy because you have all these unrealized gains in your portfolio and these gains are dwindling extremely fast extremely fast 300K can become 30K in the matter of days. So buying the dips is fantastic, but dealing with emotions is bad. And many people are like, oh yeah, I'm gonna sell the top, I'm gonna to sell the top at Bitcoin, I'm gonna sell the top up for ETH um, during this bull run. But this is incredibly difficult if you do not have a strategy. So the question is, when do you actually sell your cryptocurrency? At some point, point the market <laughs> like corrects completely and hodling makes no more sense. Now, of course, some people like they hodl and they hodl 10 years long and so on. In my opinion, that's not the strategy for me and it's also not the strategy for people that might not have the means or like just don't want to give away such life-changing amounts. I mean, like 100K, it's, it's a lot of money, 200, 500K, a million dollars. But this million dollars of unrealized gains can really fast become $80,000 during a bear market. Now it's possible that it becomes then $8 million during the next bull run or $10 million. 
But imagine if you had a portion of these profits that you could just put full back into the market, buy the bottom, and then ride the next bull run successfully. So first of all, you have to understand the psychology behind this strategy. The idea is to sell on green candles, buy on red candles. Now this is like super simplified, but the gist is that you remove all emotions from this, your strategy. You don't want to rely on FOMO, fear of missing out, of FUD and so on. You just want to have a strategy that you can start with when you start investing and you follow through with it without having to rely on any emotions. Because look at it this way. If the price, and I think this is a good example to show why the psychology is so, so important in investing in cryptocurrency, is that you've got here the price of an asset going up. A is the amount that your portfolio has at this point in time. The price of the asset goes up even more and then it drops down and then it re reaches this price here, which is actually the same price as A. So here your portfolio value is A, you would actually be maybe happy taking a little bit of profits because at this point in time, your portfolio has reached the highest point it's ever been. Now, when the price rises even more and it drops back down, even though here at this price point here, your portfolio is the same value as portfolio A, however, your mind already remembers how high it actually used to be. And now you might not be as happy selling a little bit. So that's why it's really dangerous and difficult to sell after the price has corrected. So I always recommend selling when the price goes up. So how do you solve this dilemma with the psychology when you sell and so on? And the simple answer to that is dollar cost average on your way up. It's, it's as easy as that. You could stop the video right now if you take this away from the video, dollar cost average sell on your way up, you definitely have some profits. But continue with the video if you want to find the exact strategy and, and a little bit maths behind how I'm actually going to exit my cryptocurrency holdings. So the idea here is like, imagine you buy a certain cryptocurrency, maybe Bitcoin or ETH, this is the buy, and then it goes up and then you set some sell orders. You might sell a little bit, maybe like 10% at this peak, 10% here, 10% there, and so on. And then afterwards, at some point in time, the cryptocurrency market or this asset will just start to drop. The first dip, it's not a dip, just a correction, and continues and it goes down. And in the end, what you have is an average selling price, which will be pretty great if you then compare with the price of the asset after it dumped maybe 70%, 80%. So it's that simple. Now you've got many different strategies that you can use for your dollar cost average selling. You can actually sell in 10% chunks. So you can attribute a certain amount of your cryptocurrencies to your HODL stack. So let's say you've got um, a diversified portfolio, you could say like, all right, 20% of all of my Bitcoin I'd like to hodl for the next 10 years, but 80% of my Bitcoin I'd like to sell during the peak of this bull run. And then you can sell always 10% increments. We'll look at the increments afterwards, but basically it's arbitrary numbers. So you could be like selling 10% at 80K, 10% at 90K, 10% at 100K, 10% on 150K and so on. So that would create a normal average selling price. What you could also do is sell 10% with 5% increments. So basically um, the higher the price goes of the asset, the more that you're selling. So maybe at 80, 80K you'd sell 10%, 90K you'd sell 15%, uh, 100K you'd sell 20%. So that's a higher average selling price. Or you could also sell fixed amounts. So you could maybe sell $10,000 every 50% it goes up and so on. So you've got many different ways that you can sell. Most of them are great. As long as you get profit out of the market, that's fantastic. Then the last question that is important is when do you actually start selling? Now, of course, many people just recently entered the market and many people were entered in the last year or the last two years, or the last three years. To be honest, it doesn't really matter when you entered the market. Everyone is going to have to exit more or less at the same time because the peak will come at some point in time. We don't know when. There are some predictions for Bitcoin, there are predictions for ETH and so on, but it's better to ladder out onto that peak to make sure you've got the, the highest average selling price. So for Bitcoin, I like to use a website called lookintobitcoin.com and it's got a very 
wide array of graphs, of charts and so on that are fantastic. They highlight perfect moments to buy, perfect moments to sell on a longer time frame. So the first one that I like to look, use is the pure multiple. So the pure multiple, very simple, and it, it actually works like this. The pure multiple is a calculation, daily coin issuance divided by the moving average, 365, so the yearly moving average, and times daily coin issuance in USD. The only thing you have to understand about this is the nice colors on the graph. So above here is the, the price of Bitcoin, and this is the pure multiple calculation. Ideally, you have bought back in 2020 when the pure multiple was in this gray green area. So if you bought every time in the green area, you'd be up now, I don't know, around 10x or 12x on your investment. Then the idea is that you start selling as soon as the price enters the red area. So the pure multiple enters the red area, then you can start ladder selling out the same as what happened here in 2017. Now, you might only have a few days or a few hours to actually sell. So I highly recommend setting some sell orders as soon as you reach your target. The next one that I like to use is a two year moving average multiplier. And I like to use both. So if the pure multiple is in the red and the two year move it moving average multiplier is in the red, then I'll actually start selling. If it's only one, then I'll probably wait a little bit. So the Bitcoin investor two, two year moving average is really simple. The lower line is the two year moving average and the upper line is the two year moving average times five. So basically if you buy on this line exactly, on the lower line and you sell on the upper line, you actually multiply your investment by five. If you manage to buy below this line. So every time that it dipped below the line and you manage to sell above the line, then you got 10x possibly in gains. So that's the idea, buy below the line, sell above this upper line. And then here also you can average sell onto whatever price target you'd like. You could do it in $10,000 increments and $20,000 increments and so on. Very, very simple. Now, if you want to de develop an uh, exact strategy that what I recommend using is TradingView. TradingView is a pretty fantastic tool. It's free to use. And what you can do is use some pretty awesome mathematical tools like the um, Fibonacci retracement. I'll show you how you can actually use that. On the left hand side, I can select the trend based Fib extension. And if I select the lowest price point of the last rally up to the current peak, and then I bring it down again, it will draw, draw some math, mathematical lines. And this is like based on nature. Very often the charts like to touch these price points. Don't ask me how it happens, it just happens and many traders like to use it. And me personally, I think it's a, it's a good indicator. It helps create some arbitrary price numbers where I'd like to exit my position. Now, feel free to change the numbers around. It's no fixed way to do it. This is just how I would do it. Now, what I also recommend is that you place your price sell limit orders below psychological resistances. What that means if, if it's at $80,000 level, then I place it a little bit lower, something like 79,900 because very often prices of an asset actually go up slightly below psychological levels like full numbers. And then here I've got these different levels. And then for example, with Bitcoin, I'd maybe start selling 10% at 79,000, 10%, 99,000, 10%, 128, 153, 211. And that would only be the portion of my cryptocurrency investment that I'm actually willing to sell. And at the end of the bull run, I'd have massive amounts of liquidity to then buy back when the price eventually, at some point, drops all the way down underneath this line. So this line might continue up, but then it, it when the price drops below this line, so maybe at, um, at $32,000 or even $20,000, I can actually buy back some Bitcoin and ride the next wave up. So I do expect that most people bought in this blue line, but if even if you bought here or you bought here, you still should be following this crypto exit strategy 
it's unfortunate that you won't have the same amounts of profits as someone that bought here, but by following this crypto exit strategy and actually selling on the way up, you will actually have enough liquidity to buy back here. The same is with ETH. You can do the same thing. So BTC and ETH, this two year moving average time five works really well. I've also done this base extended fib retracement and I've got these different levels where I would sell 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%. Now this is definitely not a strategy that will let you sell the complete top. You won't have the max amount of profits, but one, it will eliminate all emotions while investing. You just have to do the strategy, you have to follow through. And second, you're gonna have the best average selling price because imagine that you feel like, all right, I feel like 6,194 is my top and then you end up selling like most of your position there apart from your holder position and then the price continues going up then you're going to have some FOMO because you sold so low but having like these different price levels it will allow you to benefit from the massive euphoria stage of the bull run and really have one of these levels being at the, the extreme top so you can go even higher with your with your levels, so you can also place some sell levels at 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 per ETH. Should that happen, then you can actually take some profit there. Hit the like button if you enjoy this type of content, as well as subscribe if you want more videos that are similar to this. Part two is coming soon where we'll be talking about the psychology as well as more advanced strategies, as well as creating a Excel template for your exit strategy. Catch you next video, have a good one, bye-bye.